Welcome to Momedaram. In this video, we will see the differences between array list and vector class. Before that, we will see the similarities between these uh, two classes. These two classes, array list and vector, allows duplicate objects. Elements will be stored according to the insertion order. That is, they will follow the insertion order. Allows heterogeneous objects. That is, they will allow the different different type of data. Null insertion is possible. Array list and vector classes internally implements serializable, clonable, and random access interfaces. This array list and vector classes implements random access interface also. Array list and vector classes are implemented based on the data structure called global array. So the underlying data structure for this array list and vector class are global array. These are all the similarities between these uh, array list and uh, vector class. Now we will see the main differences between these two classes. Array list uh, introduced in 1.2 version. Vector is introduced in 1.0 version. That is, vector is a legacy one. No method is synchronized in array list. All methods are synchronized in the vector class. So, if you see in this uh, screen print, the methods of this array list are like uh, trim to size, size, is empty, contains, index of, get, set, to add, add, remove, equals, remove, clear, add all, add all, remove, range, remove all, retain all. All methods of this array list are non-synchronized. That is, there is no keyword specifically related to synchronized. If you see this vector class profile, all the methods, Ensure capacity, set size, capacity size, is empty, index of, remove all, remove element, add element, insert element, remove element. All the methods uh, before the method name, the synchronized keyword is there. So, all methods of this vector class are synchronized. Array list is not synchronized. So, at a time, multiple threads are allowed to operate on array list objects. And hence, array list objects are not thread safe. That means, if multiple threads are working on the same object, one thread may be changing the value and one thread may be retrieving the data. So, we can say array list objects is uh, not that much thread safety. And uh, this vector class is a synchronizer, right? So, at a time, only one thread is allowed to operate on the vector object. And hence, uh, vector object is thread safe that is if uh, any th thread is working on that uh, vector object it can only perform all operations after that once it is finishes its execution then only other thread can able to access so we can say this uh, vector objects uh, as it is synchronized so the safetyness will be there so vector object is thread safe relatively performance high because threads are not required to wait the array list is not synchronized right so multiple threads can able to access the that object array list object so the performance wise it will be relatively high this vector uh, performance wise it is slow because it is uh, all the methods are synchronized so only one thread can able to access if I another thread wants to access once it is finishes the execution of the previous thread then only another thread can able to access so the performance wise vector is a uh, little slow array list uh, once it reaches max capacity new capacity will be current capacity into 2 by 3 plus 1 that is, if you create an array list object with the default capacity or some, some initial capacity, once it reaches its max capacity, then uh, when you are trying to add new element to that array list object, automatically new capacity will be created, right? That new capacity will be current capacity into 2 by 3 plus 1. But in this vector, once it reaches this uh, max capacity, new capacity will be double, that is current capacity into 2. So, these are all the main differences between array list and vector. This is all about this video. Thanks for watching.